It's February, and chances are many of us have already quit the New Year's resolutions we made last month. But there are ways to keep that momentum going. Brooke Katz explains. It's the quits day when even the most health conscious among us give up. Ultimately, it's not being able to achieve their goal, which makes them discouraged, and that's how they want to just go ahead and call it quits at the gym. Mariah Garcia, trainer at Rockbox Fitness in Frisco, says health and fitness is more like running a marathon. You need motivation, inspiration, and visualization of your end goal. She says follow the three M's for habits that will stick. First, make your workout meaningful. A lot of the times, people tend to forget that goal. So it's us reminding them to like, well, did you want to lose 10 pounds for an anniversary? Did you want to lose that five pounds to get back into that size three, that size four or five? She says many work out to avoid health problems like diabetes or heart disease. Second, make it measurable. A lot of the times people quit too is that they, their goal is too long. So it's not having an end date, like being measurable. So sometimes people say, Oh, I want to lose 20 pounds, but they don't ever set that timeline for them. And finally, make it manageable. Starting off slow, um, sometimes taking those baby steps to get back into that schedule. So whether it's maybe joining the gym two to three times a week, and then in the next 30 to 60 days, adding another four to five days. So as we go through the good and bad days in our fitness goals, Mariah says, don't lose sight of why you decided to begin and seek out a solution when you get stuck. Brooke Katz. CBS 11 News. Mariah says it's also important that we keep an eye on nutrition. She suggests adding more veggies, fruits, and lean meats as you go along your journey and ditch the processed food.